Okay, hello everybody, this is Johnny here, Fresh Content YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Um, so, today we're going to be talking about Xamarin Studio again. Um, I already did a video about this, but it was not on Windows. So, I'm going to do this on Windows today. <clears throat> For all you Windows users out there. Okay, so I already created a new project, and I called this YouTube tutorial, just like that. And I'm going to get you into the basics of GUI design and how to interact with all the buttons you put on the graphical user interface so you can use the designer. So what I showed you last time was actually editing the layout by going to the XML file or AXML. XAML, I think that's it. Yeah. Um, but this time we're going to do this using the GUI builder, which is yeah, just uh, something which uh, Xamarin uses and it's pretty cool. So when you first start a new project, this was the code I was talking about last time that you have some pre-coded stuff in here. This is actually good as a reference so you know how the basic things work but we're just gonna get rid of it right now because we don't need any comments and things like that because we do know what we're talking about here. Okay so there are some things I'm gonna do. First I'm basically just gonna call this main activity because I think naming convention is always a good thing and now I'm just gonna put a space here. <clears throat> okay, so this code basically means that main launcher, that this is the main thing which is going to start. So whenever you start up the application, this is what's going to execute. Okay, um, so now to get into the GUI builder or editor or whatever you want to call it, um, you're going to go to your resources and to layout, and you should have your AXML file here. Okay, it was AXML, not XAML, I'm sorry. Okay, this basically means just Android XML file. Okay, so now you double click that and it's going to load the layout. So as you can see right here, <coughs> it takes a little bit of time, but usually it's quite fast. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to get rid of the Hello World Click Me button. And right here you can see that you have the source actually here. So this is the source of the whole thing you're going to do in your GUI builder. And now, all you have to do to add things to that, you have to drag and drop things in here. Now, there's one problem, which is which kind of sucks, namely that I cannot get anything in here because of my recording software, which doesn't allow me to drag and drop things in here, but usually it just works fine, it's just because I'm recording this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a simple UI, so I'm going to pause this video, and um, then we're going to get back to this. So don't worry about this, um, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back and I set up this um, graphical user interface here. So all I did was just drag and drop all these elements in there. So what I was using right here is a text view large, I think it is. Um, it should be here. No, text large. And then I was just using text views, another text view. Then this is a person, person name, I guess. Yeah, person name, text edit. And this is just a number tag added. And this is just a button, a plain button. So I'm going to show you how to interact with these elements and how to uh, get a good design done. So right here what I like to do is have kind of a header or title or whatever you want to call it. So there's also another title which is right up here which is just the name of your application. But I'd like to notify the user what he's actually, uh, or which screen he is currently. So what I set up here is basically just this text view. And it says, um, Simply user creator because that's what we're going to do. And now I'm going to show you how to basically design the sort of thing. So at the moment, thing, okay, sorry. <laughs> so at the moment it doesn't really look that good. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to put some, yeah, space in between all these elements. So what we can do right here, we can set a margin. Um, this is the layout margin top. You can do this, of course, using code, but what we're going to do, we're just going to kind of separate both things so this looks a little better. Now, this text right here can be right below this uh, text box because obviously that's what it's referring to. But this guy right here, we just want to put this up right. This. Oh, well, what is that? 16 per no. Okay, we're probably going to set the same thing here. I don't know. Just like it. Okay, just like that. Okay. And this is our button, we're going to resize this as well. Um, I'm just going to show you how to interact with this GUI builder because it's really simple and you can really make some awesome apps with this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to add is of course um, the person name. So I'm just going to call this and change the text to person name. Now what I'm always doing is I'm using name conventions. So at the moment this is called, the idea is basically what would be the name in Visual Studio. So this is basically what it's called um, and how you will be referring to it uh, using code. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to call this person label. 
okay, you don't have to do this because we're not going to use this, but still, I thought it's a good idea. So I like to call it label, although it, it definitely isn't a label, because, of course, uh, Jabber or Android uses uh, different different names for their controls. But right here, I'm just going to call this, not text box, I'm sorry, but I'm going to call this um, name text edit. Ah, <sighs> well... I'd rather not. It's actually called edit text, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'd like to shorten this, but okay. Okay. Name edit text. So this is, of course, what you wanna do. I don't really care about this. Um, it's just for me to basically get this. Oh, um, by the way, what I wanna put in here is actually the H. So I'm gonna call this H label. And this word here is going to be my title label. So what I like to do as well is to create a secondary title. So I'm going to do a title label. And by the way, if you want to put your apps on the App Store, that's working perfectly fine with Xamarin. You just have to publish it and create a key store. But we're going to get into all of this later on. But I can't really show you the process of me designing the GUI because of my crappy recording software. Which is actually the most used one. But who cares? It's just not really working that good. Um, they well. Okay, so now we're gonna put person H or something like that. <coughs> and right here, what I put up in this text box, oh, text box, mm, H text, edit text, it's called, okay. H edit text. And right here, uh, you can change the input type. Because what you can do right here is you can change the input type to something like this. So if as an example, if you have a URL which someone needs to enter in here, you can do this by uh, picking text URI, or you can have cap words, cap characters, normal text, you can filter that, phonetic, and all this stuff is working just fine. This is really awesome that this is built in. And you can, of course, enable this password typing and all this. So that's really working just great. Now, I want to put the max length on... I think about two, because no one's really using um, an Android device who is though, older than 100 years, so <laughs> this is very unlikely, so I'm just going to leave it at that. <clears throat> okay, so then you can check some stuff in here. Okay, so now, what my point really is that, um, oh, person name, of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I think I can leave it at that, it doesn't really matter. Numeric. Sign oh, that is actually pretty good. Oh, that's oh, that's something I need for another application. Okay, th that's cool. That's really cool. Okay then. Um, okay, so what I want to do is um, I want to basically get this coding done. So first, what I'm going to do at last is actually change this the size of the button, which is not like that. But you have to get this uh, layout width, and you can change this the properties as well, but I'm just going to keep it at that. And by the way, I'm just going to call this create button because this is going to be our button uh, which we're going to use to create the actual user. So I'm going to call this create person. Okay, let's call this create person. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to resize this. But you have to make sure that it's really not um, super small because on some Android devices or tablets it's gonna look different so you never know which Android device uh, someone uses so what I'm gonna do is here is a get a little margin I'm gonna put this right here so what's really crappy is that you can change this of course to get kind of the middle done <sighs> which I'm probably even going to do yeah I'm, I'm kind of doing this the right way now because what you can change is in the layout right here in the layout tab, you can change the 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 weight. I think it is. If you set set this to one, it should be sen. Uh, great. <laughs> okay. Um, was it the gravity? Oh yeah, that's the gravity. So you put this on one, and I think it's gonna be centered for everyone. So this is what you can do, and on every phone it's gonna be centered then, so you don't have to worry about any of this. I'm also going to show you how the whole application looks like uh, later on, so you can actually see how that goes then. Okay, so now that we're done with our user interface, um, we're gonna get into the coding. So let's head back to our main activity right here, and as you can see, it's an activity, and we have this label, which is called YouTube, uh, YouTube Tutorial, and just gonna call this uh, person person app okay um, so this is gonna be what's gonna be displayed right over this yeah title label 
Um, and yeah. Okay. Now on create the thing with on create is that it's gonna create all the elements, but the problem is that whenever you try to assign buttons, it's not gonna work because it's gonna have uh, you can't reference that really. So what I'm doing this is at least what I experienced. So what I always do is um, I'm using on create to set some basic things, but not really too much. But what I like to do is um, if you want to add rotation to your application so that it's like that this is of course going to be quite different so if it's like that it's going to work just fine that's alright but what's kind of hard is if you have a lot of controls in there and someone uses landscape then it should be scrollable but of course you have to add that coding wise but sometimes I just don't want to do that so I basically disable the whole thing I'm going to show you that later on but we just want to create a basic um, application right here so what I what I'm telling you here is actually that if you don't know C Sharp, then you're probably not going to get what I'm doing here. So please watch any tutorials you prefer or you like uh, on YouTube to get a basic overview of what you have to do. So by the way, um, so I'm going to show you a better method uh, than on create, which we're going to add as well. I'm just going to show you how to get these methods. So what you can do is to get um, methods, so you can just do base that and then you can get all the events so you can see on stop on title change on touch event and all these events are right here but this is actually a void so this is basically just um, a void which is going to be executed which is already in the code so you'd actually have to change all of that so all these are events but you'd have to change them and you have to add the same arguments and then you can override them so of course it's the first thing we're just gonna do whenever it's created it's gonna do this and that but we of course change that here but now there's another event or void or whatever you want to call it which is called um, on post create so this is what we're gonna use so on post um, create I'm pretty sure and then you have bundle and this basically takes the same arguments as above and then you're gonna do base start on post create. Oh yeah, it's right there. And then we're gonna add the bundle, and then it's gonna override the existing void to basically yeah get our needs right here. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the controls right here and make them basically a variable which you can use in the entire class. So what do we need to interact with? I guess this does not really matter for this application, but usually you have to interact with um with the controls you have in your form or in your, I don't know, what's that called in here, in your layout. Yeah, layout it is. So what you usually have to do, you have to declare them up here. So basically you have to add a button right here. And then you're just going to call this, I don't know, create button. I'm just going to do it the way I usually do it if I wanted to interact with all the uh, all the controls. So to interact, what I mean with that is changing properties of the control. 